Welcome to Pavlov, your favorite dog channel. Today we are going to talk about walking your dog on the lead perfectly next to you without pulling. Many people see my videos of me walking my dog without the lead. There's a lot of freedom in that, but um, it's actually a lot easier walking your dog without a lead than walking with a lead next to you. Because when you have a dog walking next to you without pulling, that means your dog is always in pace with you. So that's another level. This video is mostly talking about philosophy and expectations. If you struggle with this, I like to say, don't worry about it. Give it time because it is pretty difficult. I can train most of my drills within a week. But leash walking can take up to 12 months, 16 months, even two years to achieve because it has a lot to do with your dog's maturity. It's also a reflection of how you train your dog at home. If your training at home is 100%, it's a lot easier to transform their success outside when there's distractions. But if your dogs are not listening to you inside the house, it's not going to listen to you outside the house, that's for sure. So this video is mostly about understanding leash walk because most of most of the training drills we need to go through uh, are already in my previous videos you need to know how to sit down stay calm heel and walking backwards it's all covered if you master those all you need to do is uh, transform your success from your home outside and also the last thing i'll probably stress is impulse control on the street impulse control against uh, anything that distract your dog from paying attention to you First of all, when you, before you even go outside, if you pull out your lead, see, see how they respond? The dogs know exactly what that means. If the moment you pull out your lead, they start to go bananas, right? Running around, jumping, rushing to the door. You should not go out, right? Your success from home is the beginning. So what I'll do is train my dog to be calm. And if they want to go outside with the lead, I'll ask them to uh, have their door manners. If you don't know uh, what I'm talking about when I say dog manners, I'll put the link down below so you know what I mean by dog manners. Your, your dog should still pay attention to you before they go out the door. And when you go outside, that should continue all the way through. I've also found many people watching my channels are the people who haven't actually got a dog yet. They are learning how to train dogs before they even got a puppy. I think that's great. A lot of people just jump into it, got a dog, and then realize they are in trouble. It's never too late, but if you are watching a lot of dog training videos, not just mine, uh, all the good ones, I think you're on the right track. Now, if you're going to pick a puppy, pick one with uh, the energy level that will suit your lifestyle. That That is, I think, is the most important thing because once you got that wrong, your workload multiplies. Um, let's say uh, my kind of course if you search Kane Corso, a lot of people watch my channel are uh, interested in Kane Corso. If you search for what Kane Corso is like, they are known to be high energy, um, dominant, uh, require a lot of exercise, and they are not for the first time dog owners. But check out my Kane Corso. And if you've got a low energy dog, low drive as well, and a high drive meaning a dog seeing anything they see, they want to chase it, you know. Those are the ones who are very hard to train on the leash because whatever they see, they are super interested. They found it more interesting than you. Uh, my kind of Corso is not interested. It might be a little bit interested in other people and other dogs, but it's most interested in sticking really close to me. And if that that's compensated, he'll be like, Dad, let's go home. You know, he, he he's interested in his owner and he wants to go home. That's that's what he likes to do. And that's that's the perfect dog for me. Good boy. Hey Benji, you are going off leash. Hey? First time out, off leash. Perfect heel. Hey? Are you natural or what? Natural. Unless you're outside a lot, like you're living in a lifestyle block in a farm and your dog can be roaming around outside with you. Um, I don't recommend high energy dogs. Doesn't matter what it is. Uh, unless you get a small dog, like a toy breed, like a Chihuahua or Yorkshire. Just running around in the house is enough exercise for them. But if you get even a small, uh, powerful breed, any herding breed, game dogs, hunting breed, the amount of exercise they require will overwhelm you. And if you don't give them exercise, they will destroy your house. 
they might even destroy your lifestyle. All the dog training can be summarized down to two things. First of all, uh, training your dog to know the vocabulary. A lot of things dogs know how to do it already. They just don't know what you mean and what you want them to do. So, you know, sit down, come stay, heal. These are all words we speak. All we are teaching them is letting them know what it means. The second thing is attention. Once they know what it means, they, they know how to do it, but whether they do it or not, require their attention. And the biggest challenge about leash work I found for most people is getting your dog to pay, pay, to pay attention to you. Because if they are not walking according to how you like them to walk, basically it means their attention is elsewhere. Bear this in mind, if you can catch their attention, having them to pay attention to you, to be aligned with you, everything's a piece of cake. A lot of training takes like a week to, to accomplish. But leash walk, especially if your dog's high energy, uh, in my experience, they won't be able to walk properly until they are properly socialized, which means they found everything not as exciting as they used to be. So they are not so interested in chasing after them or uh, lose their attention on you because of, of the distractions around them. And a lot of dogs can't achieve that maturity until they're about a year and a half or two years old. So the more you can train them, the better. However, it's a matter of maturity. So before I start into um, details about how to train your dog, I think it's important to set a realistic expectation because a lot of people get frustrated. Start slow, it's made of maturity. You can't expect someone who is immature to take on a mature job. It's like taking a kid to take the kid to the theme park and say, uh, just walk next to me, look at nothing. It doesn't happen. Knowing that, I think we should be more realistic about how the puppy is thinking and we can work with that. We don't expose them, expose them to an environment where there's a lot of distractions and we just slowly build it up, build it up, you know. And of course, when you are taking them out for a walk, give them a break. You do, you do heel for uh, 10 steps, then I let, let you sniff around for, for a minute or two. Then we take another 10 steps, then we let you sniff around for a, a minute or two like a reward, you know, um, that will work a lot better than uh, trying to just go, hey, let's go out from here and we walk for two kilometers, you have to heal next to me. They are, they are, their pace is a lot faster, they do not walk on a straight line. We are supposed to, they are not, they will zigzag, they will go back and forth, they want to run, they want to sniff, they want to go back and sniff again. Um, to stop them doing that, you are killing them, you are killing them. So to make sure uh, they are going to walk next to you happily, we train them and it, it, it will take time. I start with just walking around the house and then we move on to the driveway. We move on to a quieter place and you just build it up. Uh, it doesn't have to be a long time. It, it can be a very short time for perfection and you spend the rest of the time letting them play around, you know. Having that time to play around actually is a very good way of socializing it. If you just hold on your dog next to you and really pull the leash tight, you want, it, you want to restrain it, they want it more. But if you let them explore and explore and explore over the same uh, situation, same neighborhood over and over, they get bored too. They won't be so uh, out of control because they've seen it a million times. Um, so socialization, I think, is the key for a good uh, leash walk. So if your dog is okay on most streets, but it's probably uh, more active or more scared, more nervous in a particular area, what you can do is just take your dog there. Don't walk, just sit down. Sit there. Um, if it's an area where there's a lot of foot traffic and people just love your dog, um, I would even put up a sign say, dog in training, please no pet, do not pet my dog. Uh, it's the same. If you see someone training a, a, a blind dog, a guide dog, um, a, a therapy dog in the mall or something like that, do not go and approach the dog. Uh, most people don't know that they see a um, a dog having harnesses on, you know, uh, being being trained to help a human. You say, "Oh, what a cute puppy!" You want to go and touch it. If you get the dog distracted, you just take them ten steps backwards. Don't do that. Uh, you know, look at look at what they are doing. If they don't want you to touch the dog, don't touch the dog. Lastly, impulse control. This will be very useful if your dog lost its attention on you on the streets. Impulse control basically is controlling dog's reactive response to something um, that causes the dog to lose attention on you. 
here I have my neighbor walking on the street and we just happen to bump into each other and ask him if it's if he's okay for me to work with my dogs we, to demonstrate impulse control and he was happy to participate so we have got his little Siberian Husky Ruby standing at a clo close distance to my dogs and usually if I see another dog I, e I either allow them to play with other dog or I walk towards a different direction and they are used to that suddenly I'm bringing my dog really close to Ruby but they are not, I didn't give them okay to play. So you will see when I'm at, at a particular distance, my dogs will behave. But once I got to a closer distance to the point where they, they feel like, okay, when, when I'm this close, I'm gonna be playing with this, this, this little dog, then whatever I say was blocked off. They couldn't, uh, they couldn't hear me, especially Venchi, my kind of course. So he's less than 12 months old, he's still a puppy. Um, so what I do is I play with the distance. If, if I lost his attention, I take a, a few steps back. And if I got his attention, then I take one or two steps forward or one or two meters forward to really play with that distance. In the end, you can let the dogs play as a reward, but it's not essential. You're basically teaching your dog to pay attention to you in all kinds of situations. So if your dog is, has reactive uh, response to uh, bikes, cars, children, cats, it's much harder with the cats to find a dummy cat to, to do this. Um, but I'm just giving you an idea. Make sure you can uh, use this uh, training video to benefit your trainings. So just move back and forth until uh, you're okay. A lot of times you won't get a, a successful training in the first or two sessions, but you can just build it on, build it on. Uh, the way I like to say is to be firm, you know, just trying to be firm the whole time, you, you, you're not gonna get successful all the time, but the more you practice, the better they will get. It's a matter of maturity and socialization. But I do need to stress that when you say a command like heal, uh, be firm or set. You know, I like to use the set command when I enter intersection. So my dog has learned not to just cross the street by themselves. Once they go to the intersection before the traffic light, they will sit down. That's that's what they normally do, and that's a good thing. You know, they don't just run across the road. You know, it's it's too dangerous. So when I say set or when I say heal, I don't care if if the dog's pulling me or whatever, uh, making me look embarrassed. I have to repeat the same uh, command ten times. Be very firm. We are taking ten ten steps forward in heel position this has to be achieved before i say okay you can go sniff around you know it be very firm because if they learn that sometimes i have to listen but when i don't want to i don't have to it's not going to work very well with those being said i hope this helps you just keep on training be firm but don't don't make it too long give your dog some time see you next time have fun training